Morning everybody, welcome to another video. So today we're going to be looking at the Retron HD. Ooh. Hey everyone, so I am denied about getting one of these for a while, um, but I was out and about yesterday in the Metro Centre and I went in game and they were down to 19.99 from 50 quid. So couldn't uh, couldn't leave the shop without it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna uh, we're gonna do a bit of an unboxing, a bit of gameplay, and uh, and see what we think. Okay, so let's have a look at the box. Um, quite a nice looking box. Um, here's some features of the uh, console on the front. So it plays in HD audio and video, 720p. Um, aspect ratios, we can have 16.9, 4.3. Comes with a controller. Um, it's multi-region, so you can play American, Jap, and European cards. And you get a six foot micro USB cable for power and I'm assuming when it charges just like the, the mini NES or the mini SNES you pop it into the back of your TV, back of your PC or somewhere to power it on. Um, control looks pretty nice, it's done in the classic SNES colours. Looks quite um, faithful to the original. Let's have a quick look on the back, anything exciting? No, it gives us the same details. An 8-bit gaming has never looked so good and there's some of the features. I'm quite excited for this one. Right, so on, let's break it open and have a look at the uh, device itself. Okay, so here we are inside the box. Um, your instruction warnings up there. There's the controller. There's the device. It's not much bigger than an actual game cart itself by the looks of it. So we'll have a quick look. Um, we'll get it unwrapped. See what the quality is like. Build. Shall be a sec. Right, here's a closer look at the console itself. Um, it's got a little bit of weight to it, feels a lot better built than other things I've looked at on here. I'll mention no names. <coughs> Atari, what? Okay. Um, these look like the original NES controller ports. Uh, these look like the original buttons. Reset, power. Probably can't in there. Let's say no. And there we've got the micro USB for charging, HDMI for output, also we get AV as well. And there's the aspect ratio button there on the back, you can change it as well. Okay, so what else did we get in the box? We've got this controller, which actually feels really nice. It's got like two, yep, yeah, you see where it's raised on the back here? That feels really nice in the hand. Um, it feels pretty decent, pretty decent quality. Looks quite faithful to the original NES. Put that on the side for a second. USB power. Yeah. Here we go, well, just in case you don't have an HDMI TV. And we also get a standard HDMI cable there as well. There we go. Right, so I'm going to get this hooked up to the TV now and we'll have a little look at some gameplay. Okay, so we've got the machine set up. Um, I've got the USB running into the back of the Mac. And I already had an HDMI cable coming up the TV because it was plugged into this little bad boy here. So I've just used that one there. Good to keep an eye over everything. I do apologise for any wind you can hear today, not from me, um, from the outside. It's so windy in the UK. Um, it's ridiculous. So let's pop in this cart. Oh, fits in there nice and firm. He says. Let's get this lined up with said TV. Right, power on. Oh, there's a nice little blue light come on the side there. That's pretty cool, I do like that. There we go, right. Um, let's try Mario first. I have got a zapper kicking him out. It gives two seconds, I'll grab it after this. Um, I've got it in 16.9 ratio on the back. A little switch. <laughs> Sounds great.
The screen is absolutely fine. Um, it looks really good. It's not blurred. It's not pixelated. I'm sorry, that's not coming through on the phone. Um, on the camera, sorry. It's, um, let's see if I can move it slightly. It's, uh, it's not fantastic. Through the camera, but it looks really good on the TV. And to be fair, this TV is a bit crap. It's not, it's not one of the best. In. So this plugs into the console no problem, so it does allow you to use the original um, controllers with it, which is pretty cool. Let's have a look. Just a rubbish shot. <laughs> That's pretty good fun. I didn't actually think the zappers worked with um, LCD TVs, but uh, uh, apparently they do. Brilliant. So yeah. Hey folks, so there's our look at the Retron HD from Hyperkin. I must say Hyperkin never disappoint. The products are uh, always work really well, um, no problems at all. They always feel well built. Um, I would highly recommend this as an alternative to um, a NES. I know, I know it's nice to have a NES in your collection, but um, sometimes they can be a bit temperamental um, and they discolour and things like that. Um, but being able to play these games in 720 on a, on a big TV, fantastic. Fantastic. As you can see, the original controllers work, the laser works, the uh, the zapper works. Um, I'm going to uh, break open my fight stick um, and have a blast with that later as well. So yeah, Retron HD from Hyperkin. Um, I think these retail at about $39.99, $49.99. They're on sale in game in a minute for $19.99, which is an absolute bargain. Get yourself down and grab one. Fantastic machine.